this year, players are following new UIL recommendations. Nabil Ramana shows us what coaches in Leander ISD are doing to make sure their young athletes stay safe. Football is back in Texas. You have to have all 11 guys doing what they're supposed to be doing. The football pads and helmets are all laid out. Okay, you will practice from 6.30 to 8 a.m. And at Four Points Middle School. <laughs> practice is underway. Ready? Henry Pugh excited for the upcoming season. I've been excited for, uh, for football since it ended last year. But he knows there's something he has to be mindful of. I've lived in Texas for all my life, so I know I know how the heat works here. The Texas heat is no joke, and with temperatures in the afternoon rising well over 100 degrees, Four Points Middle School coaches are taking every precaution. And we're moving our practices to the morning starting next week, and then we'll continue to monitor the weather. This year, UIL has adopted what's called the wet bulb globe temperature as the recommended forecast measurement. It, it measures uh, the direct sunlight, humidity, wind speed, uh, as well as the temperature. When the readings are low, the more you can do. But when they start to rise into the 90s, practices could change from afternoon to mornings or even be canceled. Head coach Glenn Bridgewater says he keeps a close eye on his athletes. We always encourage them, hey, if you're not feeling well, let us know. Hydrating is a must as well. You just got to drink more water than you want to. It's definitely really important for how you play. Pew expects to play well this season, even if the extreme Texas heat continues. Really hope we just have a have a good season this year. Nabil Ramadna, KXAN News. And for a little perspective on the heat, Austin Travis County EMS says they do see heat related illness calls for student athletes during these hot summer months. But of course, no one is immune. And because of the recent rise in temperatures, EMS says they have seen call numbers jump. Yeah, you know, we have seen an increase in our heat related calls. Um, last week we ran 54, uh, which is up a little bit from the previous weeks. Um, we got really lucky in July. July was fairly cool relatively speaking um, but you know we're into august we're going to get into late august september when it's traditionally super super hot